in. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the Filthy Capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch. Buy our merch, indeed. Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to the stream of the Forgotten Souls. The yes. agents of Forgotten Souls, actually. Yes, agents is is. of the they Forgotten. They have grouped together to create their own DJ stream. Yes, Smart of bust. them. Yes, the second bust. song on the list is Arcane Roots. If nothing breaks, nothing moves. But we have first something to read from our uh, agents. This is the third agent stream, which is basically a group of Ronins joined together as the agents of the Forgotten Souls. Ronins no more. We are the agents of Forgotten Souls. Hope the village enjoys the stream. And uh, the second song on their list is the Arcane, is it Arcane? Arcane, yeah. Arcane Roots, If Nothing Breaks, Nothing Moves. This is from Blastroid. Shout out to Blastroid. Shout out to Blastroid.
got some more. We got some more. What did you do? It's, it's done. Oh. It's at zero. Oh, that was probably See? going into another great song. Woo! Yeah, it's going, it was going to go into another song. Blasteroid. Blasteroid. Wow. Okay. Uh, All right. That's a. That's. I was, I, as soon as I heard, it, I was like, oh, okay, that's a Soraya song. Yeah, oh, if we're ever in your area, invite us over for a song night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Okay. We had that one time. We did. Metal. You were there for Metal Night, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Was that one of your fun? Was that a more? Was that a fun? Was that a fun memory? It's mixed. They're always mixed. That was a fun memory for me. We had. Uh, <laughs> there was mixed. There was a lot. Sh- lot shout out to Chloe. Shout, shout out to Chloe. Shout out. <laughs> shout out. She, she, she had one of her little episodes on it. You remember that? When did she not have an episode? That's Holy shit! Literally, what I was thinking. Okay. Well. <laughs> this guy, Jamie, right Jamie, Jamie, you lying bastard! I'm about to copy and paste all these messages that I that I that I uh, sent to you. You see this guy? Why does everybody say I never respond to them when they text me? Because you don't line. respond as much as they want you. Look to. at this! I'm the one that initiates all the discussions with Jamie. Jamie, Jamie doesn't even Jamie, talk to me listen, on purpose. Listen, I have to tell you, he's my husband. You can't have him. Look. <laughs> Look, I'm the I'm the one. Look, I'm I'm doing all the look at it. Look yeah, at this. that's true. I'm seeing a whole lot. Hey, bitch, checking in. How are you doing? Hey, bitch, where you at? What are you doing? Now he's out here telling people I don't, I don't text the homie. What's wrong with you? Okay. All right. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's go back. Let's go back. The name of this song uh, is. Uh, I got some inspiration from this song for our song, and I sent you a message of something. I know. That y- to y- it. Yeah. Yeah. I I saw. That's actually going to be pretty unique yeah i don't know how you're going to do the latin and the hebrew thing um with that but we'll try it no show. i'm not saying the whole thing just like a part of it will be uh, there'll be a, something. yeah don't yeah hold hold that hold that <laughs> okay anyway so <laughs> what what do you think that this song is about honey well it looks to me like uh it's a relationship song yes Tell me. Tell me more. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I don't. I actually didn't know it was a relationship song. Well, I said it looks to me like a relationship. Give me the song and I swear that I'll sing it like never before. All my life I have watched this moment go go right through the door. So don't you save a single breath for me when I'm gone because there will be no lungs inside my chest. So I'm standing in front of you to sing like I. So what? So what? I don't understand. So they're breaking up. You think they're breaking I up? I don't know. First of all, what's He's the name leaving? of this band? First of all, this band did break up, actually. Oh. So maybe it's one of those situations where the the uh, they were dating each other or something like that. Because there's a girl in that band, right? Oh. So I don't know. Or maybe, maybe maybe at that point. Maybe this was the end of their band and they were doing this song. Yeah, maybe it was their last the record. Holy moly. What what? Scroll down. Like how far? Well, I just needed the title of the of the record. The title of the record is Heaven and Earth yep. EP 2015. Oh, there's only five songs on it. Yeah, that's an EP. Slow Dance is one of them? That, that can't be. That's got to be like one of their... When that's did the like, taste leave your mouth? What? That's the second song. Okay, <laughs> so if nothing breaks, nothing moves. Oh, are, were you trying to look at those? No. If okay. nothing breaks, nothing moves. That's a very interesting title. I love that title. Why? Um, because I think that there are times, well, we've talked about this before, right? That God wants people to move from one place to another and grow. And he will, he will gently lead you forward in that growth. But if you refuse that, then you will find yourself broken in ways you did not want, but it will move you. So. (laughs) Oh, I see. Move on. (laughs) Give me the song. I swear I'll sing it like never before. In all my life, I've watched this moment go right through the door. So don't you save a single breath of me when I'm gone because there will be no lungs inside my chest and nothing inside of my heart. You know. If he dies? This mu- Yeah, he's talking about when I'm dead, when I'm gone. This might be, you could look at this as negative. Or when he says there will be no lungs inside my chest and there will be nothing inside of my heart. You could interpret that positively in the sense of I'm going to live my life to the max. So I'm going to use all the breath I have so I'll have no lungs left and I'm going to go crazy with all my heart so when you go to check there's there's nothing left like okay. i spilled it all in this world yeah or as you used to say he, he left it all on the field that's a way of looking at it mm-hmm. um I, i'm not sure if the but song let's keep reading and i'm sure it'll interpret it maintains that positivity throughout but go ahead so i'm standing in front of you to sing like i was the first 
but I can't even look at you and I barely remember the words. So give me a moment because I'm finding a way in the dark. I like that line because there, there are, I guess, moments in our lives where we don't have the type of growth that we wish that we had or we were a different person than we wish that we were or maybe we wish we had react we had reacted to a situation differently than we did and i think that all of us can kind of relate to that the kind of regret that happens just as life progresses and as we as we live out our lifetime on this pale blue dot <laughs> um but anyway in that situation like sometimes like Like, for me personally, sometimes I find myself in places I never imagined myself to be or in conversations I never thought I would be in. And, um, like, for instance, the training that your parents give you when you grow up can be very purposeful or it can be sort of like they're just trying to manage you so reacting. you don't annoy them so much. Yeah, you, you know, reactive right, it's, parenting. It's reactive parenting instead of, like, the real, you know, grimy, in-depth parenting of getting to know them and you know, working things out with them and stuff. And so there are times I think where I, I feel unequipped to be an adult, even though I'm, you know, 35 years old, I still kind of feel that sometimes when I'm in certain situations. And, um, in a lot of times I feel like you're like overly equipped in situations because you've seen a lot of things and you've been a lot of places and you've seen a lot of different cultures and your culture is very different than mine. And mine is kind of pale and bland, like the kind of culture that I came from. So there are times where we'll, we'll be, yeah, we'll be in a conversation and, um, I feel like the conversation's rolling too fast and I want to say like, give me a moment because I'm finding a way in the dark. Like I'm, I'm working my way through this process of, you know, perhaps it's an argument or something. I was not really taught like good arguing skills and like, no, I'm, I can argue. It's just more like, um, conflict resolution is something that I lack that, you know, I'm trying to work on, but so that, that part was, what was that to me? So he, but I'm sure he wasn't thinking about me and my arguments or whatever when he wrote the lyric. So give me a moment because I'm finding a way in the dark. He said, the time we have stolen kept us from falling, but now we're falling apart. So I don't know if this was, you know, if you have two people that are particularly troubled and they come and they find each other. And then they sort of share the same space, so to speak, in their troubled, troubled selves. And you kind of feel like probably that you've stolen time because everything is okay for a season. But after a while, when you deal with their crazy and they deal with your crazy and um, now it that that kept them from falling before, but now they're falling apart. So it, it wasn't something that was going to actually last or. Yeah, it looked like it was like. Uh... I'm not gonna say that. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> but then he just goes back to the same the same lines that we said before. It, it's interesting but when this he says, one. "Oh, you want so to scroll what up? does singing mean then in this context?" If you scroll up, here's here's what I assumed. Well, here's okay. what I assumed that yep. it meant. Give me the song, and I swear I'll sing it like never before. I, I think what he's saying is nothing I do or say makes you happy. Tell me what to say. Just, just tell me what to say. Uh, I'll make you happy. We'll make it happen. Yeah. Like these 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 guys these guys are in trouble. Yeah. These guys are. What was that last line you had? Tied up to a stake before yeah. another disaster. I roll. Tied up to a stake. So that's being burned at the stake. And then he says, "Before another disaster, like as if it's not bad enough that you're tied to a stake, but you're like tied." to a stake on the side of the beach with a tsunami coming in. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you were going to get burned at the stake or whatever, but now there's also a, there's another disaster on its way that's holding you. But because you're tied to a stake, you're, we're going to be right there in front of another yeah, disaster. Yeah, he's standing at a stake before another disaster. Yeah, and then the like, very next line says, I'm standing in front of you. So I'm standing, yeah. <laughs> She's the disaster. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> he says, I'll roll and step and step into my own armor. I'll roll and step and step. Into my own armor. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, he's got to protect himself from the anything. incoming disaster. He's not going to sit there on the on the stake while the waves are coming. He's going to protect himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he says, I can't. Uh, standing in front of you to sing like I was in the first. Yeah, but I can't even look at you and I barely remember the words. How many years will it take till we fade out? All of my fears have been 
staring all at all my doubts. Whoa! My fears have been staring that is a doubts. brilliant line. Yo, I want to read that again, yo. Yeah. All of my fears have been staring at all of my... How many years will it take till we fade out? All of my fears have been staring at all of my doubts. Yo, that line is crazy, bro. Okay, explain it from your perspective. Nobody cares if you're standing or lying down when you, when all you've had is taken it away. Run it. This guy is a gangster. I like this guy. Um, uh, I, all my fears are staring at all of my doubts because yeah. your your fear, you're afraid of something. Yeah. So fear means, okay. This thing is here and it's a threat. Doubt is you're saying that you're faithful or whatever, whatever, but I'm doubting it, right? I think in this context, the fear probably has to do with the with the nature of the relationship as far as like, like it ending. Because yeah. it looks to me like these guys don't really have anything redeemable in their relationship. And instead of just calling it quits, he's going to he, – it looks to me like he's just going to hold on till their life until until the very end. Yeah, and he says, all my life I've watched this moment go through – and then he says, go through the – go right through the door. So don't save a single breath for me when I'm gone. When he says, all my life I have watched this moment, that's a – I think that's a crazy line because there are certain fears or doubts or eventualities that you feel are you are destined to have. And you can be completely wrong – um, you can be right in the sense that you believed it so much that you actually brought it about, you know, like your fears made that thing happen, um, or you sabotaged something because you were so afraid of whatever, whatever happening to you. So when he says that all my life, I have watched this moment. And before he talked about fears and doubts, I think that, you know, like, um, Job said that in the, in the scriptures. So yeah. when his kids, like, all these disasters fell on him in a single day and he lost all of his kids in a single day. I literally, the idea of that makes me feel like I can't breathe. And, and then I think to myself, I, I, I don't know, like he, what an incredible person he was to not like, but he did want to die. Right. Didn't yeah. he say stuff like yeah, he that? You didn't want to die. He yeah. just didn't curse God. Right. So, you know, he anyway, when his kids died, he said, what I feared has come upon me. And um, I think for a parent, that's a real whew, if anything happened to any of my kids, that would be just, oh, my God, I can't even process that. Mm -hmm. Not even going to. I'm just going to move along like I never just said that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when he so I think that, you know, he this is something he was worried about was going to happen. And sure enough, here it is happening. But strangely, he's not. I, th I find his reaction to be odd because there are there are things that you fear will happen. And then when those things come upon you, people usually melt down like Job melted down, you know, when his kids died. But yeah. he's saying, look, so don't you save a single breath for me when I'm gone, because there's going to be no lungs inside my chest and nothing inside of my heart and nothing inside of my um, well, nothing inside of my heart, he says again. So. It, it seems to me like he's completely separate from the situation at that point. He's like, I don't have anything left. When it happens, like I've worried about this all my life, but yeah, you know, yeah. maybe in a sense he thought it was a good thing. I don't know. Well, because yeah. he said, "All the dreams I had are clawing like a hand around my throat. There will be a crown upon my head. There will be a crown upon me." So maybe he's saying, "I'm coming out of this." Like, <laughs> I actually said that <laughs> to my ex. You said what? I said, "When this is all over, God is gonna give me a ten thousand pound crown." <laughs> For dealing with your bullshit for as long as I've dealt with it. I said it'll be ten thousand pounds. Is that what you said? I was dead ass serious, dude. I was so I am not surprised you were serious. I was so angry. I was like, God is gonna reward me exponentially for having to deal with your evil ass. I believe it too. Holy shit, y'all don't know. I was patient with I was patient with your girl. I was patient with your girl. All right, this is a 9.5 for me. 10 for me. I really liked it. <laughs> I figured I figured that you would like yep. it. Blasteroid, good pick. There you are, dear <laughs> listen. The moral of the story is do not go out with any girl that uh, is going to earn you a crown from God because of your suffering. Oh, I, I yeah. was like, I'm going to get the martyr's crown here, <laughs> being with you. Babe, stop that. That was not your plan. You weren't like, huh, you know, let me marry this broad, as you would say, so I can... Uh, Look at BC. So I can get a giant crown. BC. Yeah, Dan. Dan's the same way. See, Dan Dan knows the struggle. Dan knows the struggle. 
<laughs> he literally oh, knows know. me. Like he's I like know. the only one that like knows what I'm talking about every time. Yeah, I talk about he's I the know. only person on the planet that gets it. So shout out to the homie. We <laughs> Our chair, you knew I was gonna like it. Yep. <laughs> we suffer together. You must have done some horrible shit to deserve what happened to you, bro. And I must have done uh, some really good shit to deserve what happened to me because I'm gonna get my ten thousand pound crown. Oh my gosh. Will your neck be able to hold it up? Or, well, yeah. You'll, you'll, or is there going to be you, some servant? I you knew it, and I knew her it. and the rest of them, the rest of the village will have to hold my neck up for all eternity. The good news, though, You're village, is that you will be there. in heaven. You'll hmm? be surprised when you get there. I know. We'll all be cleaning uh, Ian's shoes when this is all over. Holy shit. <clears throat> <laughs> all right. We got another one coming right for right, you, bitches. So the Stand next by. one on the list is coming up. 